Hello and welcome back to another Jero video. So here today we are pressure washing this driveway with a Husqvarna 350PW. We are hoping that it just sort of brings out the colour a little bit. It doesn't look like it's been done in a very long time. So we're going to try and get rid of all the moss. I've got a surface cleaner but obviously that doesn't pull out between the cracks very well. So we're just going to go with the turbo nozzle and see how good of a result we can get. I may put down some chemicals but that just depends on if it needs it or not. But we'll go from there. So thanks for sticking around, hope you enjoyed the video and like, comment and subscribe. Right, so just quickly there, I wanted to try changing over that surface cleaner that you just seen, which is the Still RA82, which does, to my surprise, fit on the Husqvarna models, so that's always helpful. But if you look here, you can kind of tell it's cheap because the turbo nozzle, you can see where it's cleaner on that side than on this side. Uh, so it just means I'm gonna have to go through the whole of the driveway with the turbo nozzle. What's well, fine, because I'm gonna have to use it anyway for the moss and stuff, but just as a, as a little note to take, is that the turbo nozzle every day better than the surface cleaner. On your more commercial range stuff, you're probably gonna be absolutely fine. On this sort of domestic stuff, not as good. Right, so I'm going to pause it where it is now because I'm not really happy with how it's how it's going. You'll see here, it's hard to tell because it's not fully dried yet, but you know, these areas I'm taking a lot of time on, as you can see in the video. I'm overlapping every pass and everything, but you can see all the, all the marks. I do not feel, I felt like this in the last job, it's not getting enough pressure through to give it a proper, a proper clean. Now, the hose does leak. So I don't think that's helping. I think that's part of the problem. So I'm gonna have to replace the hose and then come back to this. And if that doesn't work, I might just hire in a proper machine because it's something like 35 pound for a proper commercial setup. Um, yeah, so bear with me and we'll be back on a different day. Right then, so it's been a couple of days and it's actually turned out better than I thought. So if I just spin you around here, you can kind of see the difference coming down this path. And especially here, where you can see the complete difference between the curbing on the left and right. This is the colour it should be, and this is the colour it is. So that'll be the same all the way down this driveway. So I'm just gonna crack on with this, with the kit that I've got, the Husqvarna 350PW, and we will see the kind of difference that we get from this job.
so that is just us finished off now. We've just finished putting the sand down, killing dry sand it was. That's what you gotta be because it's it's gonna sink into there and create the most stability because it'll pack in nice and tight. So if I just turn you around here, this is the finished result. Now obviously we've got um, all this sand still on the surface. You usually at this point either just go across with a blower or even just a bit harder with a brush and it would really just clean it out. But for now, to be honest, this is taking four days to film this so four different filming days to actually do the job it would probably only be about six seven hours with the kind of pressure wash i was using and the sand and letting it dry stuff like that but you know four days it's taken me so i'm just going to bear with it for that and you know i'm happy enough with the finish so here we go i'm just going to stick in a before and after i hope you enjoy Now the only thing that I did pick up on is that the certain areas like this here that just kind of it broke away some of it was broken prior and some of it is just kind of broken with me uh, pressure washing there. This drive here must have got done some amount of time ago. It's obviously the original drive. These bits are the worst. If I just scrape this back you can see all the moss and this grass that's been grown up through here it's just grew into the bricks so as soon as I took the pressure washer to it it just started to just dissemble. So with driveways like that, if it, if it does, then I think it's just a part of digging all that out and getting the bricks replaced, what isn't a problem at all, to be honest. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little bit different first pressure washing video on the channel. So if you did enjoy it, let me know down in the comments. Give me a like, comment and subscribe if you can. It's really appreciated. But till next time, thanks for tuning in.